Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar's Weekend Webinar. Traders, this webinar is being filmed on Sunday, October 25th for trading Sunday into Monday, October 26th. And the grains, if you've watched them last week, they've all had a pretty nice run. Oats, corn, wheat, beans, a lot of them just really took off a little bit. And if you've read the papers, a lot of it is weather related. Do I want to get long grains? Well, you know, at this point I cannot because what we have looking at us in the grains, and I'll show you some charts in a moment, swing day setups in soybeans, wheat, corn, and oats. And if you have a swing day setup in all of the grains in your sector that you trade, got no choice but to take it. It's a swing day sell setup and sugar with that big head and shoulders formation that we talked about in the last few videos. I have a nice chart to show you there. So we are going to take a swing day setup in the grains, probably in the corn because it looks to have the best risk reward ratio. And we're going to look at sugar. As far as the indices and the S&P traders, if you watched it last week for you technicians out there, you would recognize that no matter what the analysis has looked like, all it did was do this all week long. Didn't go up, didn't go down, it just ran back and forth and basically was a very difficult week for trading for most who are following technical analysis. After hours of research this weekend, I've noticed it's in the exact same boat. Basically bullish looking formations on the chart and bearish looking indicators. So I think we're going to take a neutral approach in the indices and maybe do no S&P trading tonight through tomorrow. Let's see what the markets tell us to do. It's always best to listen to those markets and read your charts as opposed to just gambling in there. So let's let the S&P get back. You know, they need to kind of get sewn or get tied to the hip once again with analysis, which doesn't look to be the case the last four or five days trading. So again, we'll sidestep it a little bit and we'll go take a look at the grains and we'll look at sugar. I think you're going to find this series of charts very interesting. We have a few charts to show you, and I'd like for you to pull up a chair and take a look, because here we go, traders, let's look at some charts. Okay, traders, the first chart you are looking at right now is the Corn December Daily Bar Chart. And what we have is a swing day setup right there, traders, and don't forget the swing day looks a lot like this. Let's say you have a market that had a day, the next day it rallies up, comes down and settles by its lows. That is your swing day. What we like to do is wait for the market to get up to about as high as the previous day and go short and expect a breakdown. That right there is your swing day setup. We're looking for day three, of course, where we can sell it and see the breakdown. So now you see on the daily chart that swing day is there. And when we see a swing day, we trade a swing day no matter what. So there is your swing day. So what do we do now that we have a swing day? Obviously, we look at indicators and we look at other grains and see if other grains have that very same indication or formation, which is a swing day. And I think you will see after this next series of charts that absolutely it is a valid swing day. And if you are a technician, you'll have no choice but to take it as a swing day. Let's take a look, traders. Okay, traders, very same chart you were looking at. This is the corn daily bar chart, but I've blown it up a little bit to show you areas of congestion previously that this chart has had. This line goes right across where we're looking to get short in the corn. If you look back here, as you go across that line, you had a lot of congestion there, so it was certainly an area where the market had difficulty. If you look back here, the same thing, it went down a little, couldn't get below, went back above, couldn't stay, went down, and a lot of congestion right there. Once it got above, it stayed above. Then you had congestion here where it went below, it tried to get above and broke right back down. Once again, from back here, we came down, hit it, and couldn't get below it and popped back up. So just to show you, the very same area where we have our swing day set up happens to have a lot of congestion in its history. So that bodes well for the swing day setup to likely go in our favor. So remember, right around where we're going to sell it, if you look back in your daily chart, you will see some congestion areas. Look for yourself. Now let's pull some indicators around the corn market and see if the indicators do not agree with this bearish swing day formation. Okay, traders, once again, the corn market, December daily bar, but this is the CCI or Commodity Channel Index Indicator. Clearly, as you can see in this box, it is pointing south right now. If it were bullish, it'd be pointing up. So we have a bearish formation, which is that swing day setup. And now we're starting to look at indicators, and right off the bat, the CCI is pointing lower. 
Let's look at a few more indicators here. Okay, traders, once again, sticking with corn December daily bar, you have the WADX average daily indicator here. It's average directional movement. And when the green, which is called the positive, is pointing down as it is now, and when the red is pointing up, that is another bearish indication. So indicators are absolutely stacking up towards the corn, rallying somewhat, and then breaking back down. Don't forget, traders, we're looking at the technicals. There is weather-related information out there called fundamentals. Weather changes very, very quickly, whereas the technical analysis usually will follow in trend. So the weather could change tomorrow, and we'll see. But for now, we are technicians. We use technical analysis, and we will go from the charts to take this trade. So you've seen a couple of indicators. We have a couple of more to show you so that you'll realize not only did we look at a few, we looked at very many indicators and found all of them pointing lower or bearish for Monday's trading. Let's look at another indicator. Okay, traders, once again, with the corn December, you are looking at slow stochastics, the stochastic oscillator. And right now we have this turn up and turn back down. Percent K and percent D have crossed one another. Once again, bearish, and you're up above the 80 mark, which is considered overbought. Traders, if you look back here, the last couple of times we got up there, it ended up producing a pretty big downward move. So here we are with indicators that have hooked and are starting to point lower, and a market with a bearish formation. We've looked at four indicators. There are, uh, there are certainly many more to look at. We have a few more on this board. And then we'll go look at the other grains as well and see if they are in concert with the corn. Okay, traders, again with the corn market, this is the Williams percent R indicator. And once again, got into an overbought situation and broke down and is now pointing lower. Another bearish indicator pointing towards get into that swing day and go short. Remember, traders, our stops will be in no matter what happens on this trade. We will have a buy stop in. If it's wrong and the analysis doesn't pan out, the stop will get hit. And as we know, stops are our best friends. So don't be afraid of this trade. The analysis looks good. Let's look at one more indicator here. Okay, traders, again, in the corn market, you are looking at the momentum indicator. And once again, momentum in the way of the market, or the other indicators, I should say, pointing lower. So many of the indicators that we've looked at, in fact, I can't find one bullish indicator for corn for Sunday into Monday's trading. Let's see. I, I would think this is pretty good analysis, at least for the corn. Let's take a look at it, and now let's go look at a few other of those grain markets and see what they look like. Okay, traders, we are looking at December wheat daily bar and swing day setup, just like the one I had drawn for you on that first chart, and it looks just like corn, and its indicators are pointing lower. Swing day setup in the wheat, if you don't recognize it right here, you have your first day. Second day of the market rallied, came all the way back down and settled by its lows. That is your swing day setup. So wheat has a swing day setup. Let's pull another one and look right behind here. We have soybeans. Look at the swing day setup in soybeans. Now that one's a little tricky because in order to take that swing day, your risk is greater than your reward. So we will not trade the soybean swing day, but there is one there for you to see. So we had it in corn, we have it in wheat, we have it in soybeans. Let's look at another market. Oats of all things, look at this outside reversal and swing day setup in oats. This is a major, major outside day because, you know, Thursday we had a, you know, a pretty solid up day. On Friday it rallied much higher, turned around and went all the way down here and settled at the lows. This gives us an outside reversal and a swing day setup. So if you're looking at grains, you couldn't possibly be bullish unless you're a fundamentalist right now. The technicals are telling you you need to sell this rally. So there is my case that I wanted to make for you in the grains. I think you see what I'm looking at now. Do your own homework in the grains and see what your analysis points towards. And of course, come on down to our site if you would like to compare notes. You can simply find us at www.livewithoscar.com. Come on down to the site and let's compare notes on the grains. Okay, traders, next will be the sugar market. Okay, traders, the sugar market, look at this setup here that we have been showing you day after day for probably the past few weeks here in the sugar. This is the March 10 contract. What we started off with was a head and shoulders formation. Clearly, you can see the head and shoulders circled in red. Then this blue area represents a head or the head of the head and shoulders. 
And what you would expect after a head and shoulders is the market to rally up, test the head. If it fails, a breakdown begins. If it gets through the head, this will simply be a continuation pattern. But that's not what happened. It went up to the head and began to break down, put in a lower low, then rallied up to test the head again and failed right at it miserably and started to work its way lower. So as you can see, it looks like the back of the sugars market may be broken here. I think we're going to go lower. Of course, once again, stops will be in. The only way I'd become bullish sugar now is if we rallied all the way up past the head, tested it, held, and continued on. Barring that, we are bearish now in the sugar market, and I think you will see that the indicators are as well. I don't want to bore you with a thousand indicators, so we'll just look at one on the sugar market so that you can see, like the corn, indicators are pointing lower. Okay, traders, the last chart of this segment is the slow stochastics on the March 10 sugar contract. And as you can see, stochastics ran down for a while, went back up, ran into trouble, turned, and now percent K and percent D have crossed one another, a bearish indicator. If you look at the other indicators on sugar, most if not all of them are bearish as well. So we are going to look to sell rallies in the sugar and the corn for Sunday into Monday's trading. Traders, do your own homework, pull your charts, never accept anyone's recommendation on a trade without doing your own analysis first. So, traders, you see those charts, you see the indicators, and talk about swing days. I mean, four separate grains with the same look and bearish indicators. Traders, for that, so that you can see what that looks like, let me just draw that swing day for you one more time because I want to make sure you know how to handle it. And please do not take this recommendation unless you believe in swing days and a swing day is part of your analysis. Traders, let's say you have a market that's moving, 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 and then one day you have a nice day, and the next day it rallies up higher than that day, comes back down and settles by the low of the day. And you need it to be a pretty decent-sized day. This is your swing day setup. Forget about these other bars. These are the ones that we are interested in right here. If that's what your setup looks like, the next day when the market opens and it rallies up, you sell it right about at this level, about at the high of the day before the swing day. And what usually happens is a breakdown will ensue. That's how I want you to handle this grain trade, traders. That's how we handle every swing trade every time we see one. Will it work every time? Of course not, because technical analysis couldn't possibly work every time you use it. But I can say this, you've watched, I don't know, 508 of my YouTube videos. Some of you have watched them all. Some of you nuts have watched every one of them. And in those videos, you've probably seen me do 100 swing days. Probably 90 of them work. So the odds are really good, and all we can do is get the odds in our favor. That's what trading is all about. Find a formation or a technique that works that brings the odds into your favor and repeat it constantly. Well, that's what a swing day is. So put the odds in your favor and take that swing day trade. Take a look at the grain charts, traders. I'm sure you'll see what I'm talking about. Now with that head and shoulders, once again, I did an, il an illustration for you in our last video over right before the weekend. I think we did one Thursday or Friday, Thursday night for Friday, guys. And I showed you exactly what I put in that sugar chart. We had the head and shoulders, so shoulder, head, shoulder. The run up, test of the head, failed, came down, went up again, tested the head, failed for a second time. Now it looks lower. Take a look at your sugar charts, traders, and see if you agree with that combination. I like the formation. I like the indicators. I'm going to go for a short if the sugar rallies a little. Same thing with the corn. I know right now it could be a little scary because you're reading a lot in the news about the weather. Traders, if you don't know what the fundamentals are right now, they're simple. Lots of grain in the ground because it's been a little bit cool out lately. They haven't had a chance to harvest it as quickly as they'd like to have or as quickly as they do every year, which means the replanting for whatever they're going to put in the ground once the grains come out, they're a little bit behind on that planting. But that changes like this, and they don't know what the yields are going to be, and that could just dissipate in a moment. So I don't bother trading the weather. I trade the technicals, swing day setup in the technicals. That's about all we can do is take it. All right, traders, I'm not going to stick around too long in this weekend webinar because I have some guests in town. Thank you for showing up. Yeah, baby, yeah. And I want to hit the strip with them for a little while before these markets get crazy. So I'm going to end this video, and I would like for you to give me a buzz anytime, day or night, 702-629-4755.
As I mentioned during the truck segment, come on down to our site, traders. Never trade alone. We have three chat rooms. One of them is wide open and free to the public. We share information. We hold classes. And we will be there to help you become a better trader. So become an Omniac and come on down to www.livewithoscar.com. All right, traders, that's it. I'm running out of here. Don't forget, keep your emotions out of trading. And one of the best things you can do is to say this to yourselves over and over again. And you know what that is? Stops are in. Emotions are out. Yeah, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope it helps, traders. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I'm a 27-year seasoned trader on and off the trading floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years.